Hi and welcome. The goal of this episode is to configure Hot Reloading, so we can enjoy magic of not refreshing page manually and seeing changes right away, and that's pretty awesome, I must say. For Hot Reloading to work, we need to install and set up another middleware for Express. If you do not use Express, then Webpack Dev Server is your option, but we're going with middleware in this project. So let's open serverindex.js file, and right here we import another webpack hot middleware middleware and we import it from webpack hot middleware like this now we can use it and should use it as usual with express webpack hot middleware and it also takes compiler so let's extract this compiler from here right here we define constant compiler equals webpack webpack config also, we need to provide additional options to dev middleware, and we can do it by providing second argument to this webpack middleware function. So, first of all, hot true, and second, we need to provide public path, which we take from our webpack config output public path. Also, let's add no info option set to true, and that will eliminate noise from webpack. So now let's save it and now let's go to webpack config and here in output let's add public path which also going to be just a forward slash and then we need to follow the instructions on hot middleware project. So first of all we need to add new entry here and for that we need to change this from string to array of strings like this and the first one will be webpack hot middleware slash client. Next thing, we need to provide plugins. And the most important one, we need to we take them from Webpack. So we have new Webpack. And the first one, the most important one, is Hot Module Replacement Plugin. And as we use Webpack here, so let's import Webpack from Webpack. Let's add another two plugins which usually are added webpack. The first one is no errors plugin. And this plugin just handles error messages in a more cleaner way. And another one is webpack dot optimize occurrence order plugin. This plugin ensures consistent build hashes. So this is it for configuring middleware. But that's not all. All middleware does is creating this connection between browser and webpack. We need to teach React application how to reload itself. And for that, we need to install and set up React Hot Loader. So here in loaders for JavaScript files, let's add React Hot Loader. So now we need to install it and run npm install save dev React Hot Loader. And we haven't installed webpack hot middleware yet. Okay, so let's run server, npm run server and have a look. Okay, we have an error and that is type of here, two C's but only one R. So yeah, it's, it is fixed in webpack 2.0 but in 1.0, this is the name of the plugin. Let's run it again. Okay, now we're good. Let's reload our page and let's try to change something in our app component. So we open app.js file and let's add here exclamation point. Save it. Let's go back to browser and nothing happens. So if we reload the page, only then we have update. So it doesn't work. And it doesn't work because of the current limitations of functional components. So for it to work, we need to use class component at the top of hierarchy. So right now, all we have is just one app.js component. So let's change it from functional to class. So we define class app, which extends from React component. And we need to define render function. And this function will return this hello from here. And then we need to export this app. So let's save it. Let's go back to browser, reload the page. Okay, so go back to editor 
and let's remove this exclamation point, save it, go back, and you can see that it is reloaded right away. But what about functional components then? Can we use them? Well, yes, yeah, sure, but not as a top component for now. So let's try it out. Let's create a new presentational component and we're going to use it right here instead of our hello. We'll use component greetings. Okay, so we need, of course, to import it. Greetings from greetings. And let's create one. Greetings.js. And that's going to be extremely simple React component. So we export default function that returns h1 high. Save it, go back to browser, and you can see that it is reloaded automatically right away. So if you go back and say something high like this, save it, go back, and you can see that it is reloaded. Nice, it works. So just remember to use class components for top components and you'll be okay. So let's commit. And that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching.